Hey guys, what's going on? It's not welcome along to the last lunchtime stream of the week. It is Friday the 14th of July. Hope you are all well. And we are back carrying on on Penumbra. If this actually loads anytime soon. Please OBS, would you like to capture this game? Thank you, that'd be great. Alright, so we're going to pick it up from where we left off yesterday. I mean, we was just... Um, yeah, we just got up into this little cavern here. Welcome to Slice F ASMB. It's been ages, man. Ages. And um, errand, of course. Well, damn. We ain't going back that way. Oh, dear. We found some eggs. Ah, screw you. Oh. Can I just get the hell out of here as quickly as I can, please? Uh, oh. Oh my god, uh, yeah, uh, what, uh, mm hmm Did it say something that was very flammable or something? I think it did. Three. Ah, <laughs> maybe try running past it before you set it on fire. Wow, holy cow! Great start to the stream. All right. Run past it first this time, knock. Now you should find yourself in the watery cave of conversation place, with a tunnel above you from times ahead. In this tunnel, for both our sakes, be careful, not curious. I have already spoken to you about the cat, and repeating myself is not only out of the question, but out of the window and climbing down the gutter. Okay. There are spiders in the Let's tunnels that love to suck on the evening fluids, so do not disturb the walls. They are fragile like the china vase in the hooves of the boar. So let's do this. That kind of looks like it's going to do an Indiana Jones sort of thing. Yep. And I shouldn't have stayed. I shouldn't have stayed still. Instead of waking up, you just didn't go to sleep. <laughs> Alright, we'll try and um, go a bit quicker this time. If we can, please. Don't look back this time, Knock. Just keep on going. <sighs> hey, no Half-Life spoilers. I've never not played Half-Life yet. I've not finished the first one. I started playing the first one. Never finished it. Maybe we should start that again. Alright, so I need to take a left turn at the bottom. Whew. 
Oh uh, shit. How could I not finish it? Because... Oh, come on! Headset's about to die. How is it that the first one kind of, like, smashed with a single... Um, hit. And then, um, after that I have to hit it like two or three times. It makes no sense to me. Maybe to give me like a bit of advantage? I don't know. We have made it out of there. Doesn't look like their spiders are going to chase me. Which is there good. There should be some insect repellent in that red and white cross box in that room. Just in case those spiders found your flesh delicious. How does my brain flesh know your fluids are leaking? Because the red tricked you! <laughs> the spider this guy's weird. was a power from the necessary evil. More so, it served as a well deserved punishment. You thought my mind had been lost to the ravages of time, but poetic justice has struck with a sonnet and an eight legged baptism of fire. With justice now served cold, I hope that we can be good friends. And now reclaim the key and go go juice and find a way to the mining monster. So he thought it was funny to like make me go through that. He's a this, this dude is a nice, isn't he? <coughs> Key and some go go juice. Alright, let's look for a key then, shall we? Can I, um. Maybe pickaxe it off? There's my thing that I need. Look. Oh, I've got a key. I need a can of gasoline. Gasoline! Thinking the gas might be behind. Oh, that's the door that leads us. That's why we couldn't get in here for a start, right? That's been barricaded off. Makes sense. Lots of flares. And... Hmm. Did I miss something in the other room? Doesn't look like um gonna find anything. Here, hey Margaret Harushi, what's going on, buddy? Hope you are well. Um see so yeah, I need some need to find some gas. Not that there's any in here though. I'm intrigued as to why I can 
Oh, can I use the key here? Hmm. Um... I can't get in there yet. Alright, no worries, ASP. Good to see you again, buddy. Good to see you, indeed. Thank you very much for saying, coming around and saying hi. It's been a long while. Okay, so we've got the large key. Try and find our way to the auxiliary shaft, I guess. I don't know where else I would get the gasoline from, because it doesn't look like it's in storage. Dark. You go around there. Wow. Did I seriously just run past that dog? Quite unexpected. To say the least. Uh oh. Get up, please, Snock. Run. Oh my god, there's another one. No! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Just kill me now. Just kill me now. What's a miss? What's a misspell in the game? Can I, like, kill the dogs, or no? <sighs> it's harder to maneuver around the corridors in Black Plague, that's for sure.
Black Plague, you can just run around. Not this time. Have we been in here already? Yeah. Write down a note. Found a grating door deep in the comments, but it's barricaded with a piece of wood, and on the other side, I need some way to shift it. Okay. So. I need some gasoline. Where am I going to get the gasoline from? Nothing in here. Did I not pick this up before? Yeah, maybe I died and I didn't come back to pick it up. Still none the wiser as to where or how I'm going to get in this. Nope, you see me. Wow. Oh, that gives me an idea. I think I might know how to... Alright, I have an idea. Can I not like attack these? Can I give you some jerky? Hey, give my jerky back. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. I think I could probably get over here and do it like this. Alright. <sighs> so.
think that worked. I think that actually worked. Alright, let's wait for little doggy to go. Go on. Go back down your corridor. Please. Thank you. I think that worked. No? What's actually... I don't understand, what's actually barricading that? This is not barricaded, seriously. Oh, just get there with this dog, please. <sighs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a moment. I have an idea. I so broke that barricade though. You guys saw it, right? Doggy was right there. I saw him. Ooh, there's another one in that direction as well. Hmm. Running, 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 running. Who says I can't outrun the bear? <laughs> Screw you, pal. Alright, let's save. When the door rises from vast, something terrible. It strikes a man, knocking him down, and those standing by him wither into the darkness, screaming. But begins. Still, Father looks on. Is he bringing this? Father, what have you done? I felt something that time that I didn't. I didn't feel before, but I'm sure it's always been there. Yeah, I think I've um, done that before. All right, what's this? Power cabinet. Control system for the yellow. It's got one. F okay, so it's the same thing, right? Alright, so now we need to put the key in. And this is why I need the. Um hey, Hugo, what's going on? I guess this is why I need the, the gas, right?
Okay. All right, so. <sighs> Looks like we're going back out then. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> well, that box must be light. The dog's pushing it with his nose. Go on, off you go. Off you go. Just give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. Sorry about that. So, I need to find some... Uh-oh. How did they not come after me there? There is like another thing around here. Let's go and check this out. Just a dead end. All right, so. We need to go back. the dog to move and then we'll go again wait for him to come back the other way so 
We need to find the gasoline. Let's go back in storage. I mean, is there a way we can... No, we can't use that. Did I miss something in here? can't get into here. I know, can I? There we go. That works. Ah. Oh. Rip. Uh, where am I? I've got to get back down here. I'm going to get past the doggy again. run back to storage do a safe spot here make things a bit easier all right so we'll knock down this door again and I wonder if I can saw I wonder if I can take this with me. No, but there is already one here. Not entirely sure how I expect that to work though. So. There is a safe spot over here. Excellent. <laughs> I have F6, don't you worry, Hugo B designer. What if I do this then? Maybe I need to smash something in here. Let's try this. Does not look like it's going to work. All right. Hmm. Maybe I can smash this. See the pallets, nothing. 
Uh, can I? Yeah, no, into death. <laughs> Just wanted to check. I'm not bothered now, I've got a safe spot. Oh, there's a locker. It's in the lockers. Over the past 100 years, our people have, been, have seen something of a religious revelation. The Kalite and Inuit in general might be might be said to have seen the error of our ways and Christianity has become increasingly embraced throughout the Arctic communities. It is the purpose of this paper to explore true roots of our long hard held beliefs and to uncover how they might be justified in our new and found enlightenment. As such, this essay will be the first I have written in English as opposed to our native Kalaika. Uh, it is in no coincidence that the world, the word Amit bears resembles the English word angel. The Anirnit are the Inuit equivalent of the soul an underlying entity released in the death of its worldly body. The concept itself is obviously well grounded in descent Christian belief, however previous thought has been blasphemous to the extent that souls are attributed to all being men all beings, man and beast. To claim such a thing would be would be to imply that killing of a beast for food is the same as murder of your fellow man and such a belief simply cannot be held in the civilized Inuit. Turn gay. Legend speaks of this disembodied spirits, malicious in nature, sabotaging tools, turning hunts bad, and at times even possessing the weak or unfortunate. A turngate appears to have no recognised or agreed origin, both in terms of the legend itself and the individual being, causing great doubt to the entirety <coughs> to be entirely justif justifiable. Can we in our Christian foresight really believe in the possessions and evil spirits? It seems perfectly clear to the writer that the real origin of this Turngate belief lies in the Christian demon, for as we are taught by the generous and selfless Moravian Church, without whose support our people would have no doubt starved many years ago, the demon is capable of possession and countless other atrocities, which only a good Christian man can avoid through the lifetime of humanity and de devotion. <sighs> With the conclusions reached above, the status of the cherished Agan, Agan Cook, the tribe shaman, should be obvious. Such people are in league with the Turngate demons, working side by side to control and contain the Calabate people. We have no need for such superstition and suspicion breeding people in our Christian ways. A Protestant priest can perform all of the Agakuit duties on more besides. Final challenge of such work as this should be to find the nature of the Christian God and ask why he not present for so many years of Inuit belief. Until recently, the Inuit people wrongly attributed to Arne almost godlike statues in certain cases and treated the Turngate as the devil incarnate. It is no major leap of faith to suggest that such beliefs have been underpinned by a central concern that there has been something missing in that Inuit life, that something is undoubtedly God. I hope my findings have informed and enlightened the atheist this stick a few that remain Inuit culture and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to redeem their souls. Alright, so what does our task list say for us at the minute? Alright, so... I'm pretty sure we're going to need to do something with this, right? That was a weird sound effect. Right, so I can get in here. Oh, I think... Did that just respawn? What the deuce? Alright. Are these like... These be trolling. These vents be trolling and hating. Hmm. 
There we go. Anytime we have to do anything like this, alien isolation comes to mind. So what can I use? Oh, maybe I can go in from here. Nope. So I was thinking I probably need something to step on to get through this part, right? Oh, hold on. Oh, for God's sake. Do I go to the main menu? Seriously? <sighs> Alright, so it's something with the box. Oh! I got it. I get it. <sighs> Alright, so. Let's manoeuvre this. Let's maneuver this. Let's grab this first. Alright, so now we need to do... And then... We'll try that. Alright, so... Maybe I have to push it. And I, like I said yesterday, I really hate the this pushing, pulling mechanic. Oh. Oh, does that go... Oh, it goes all the way across. Alright. Got it. Gotcha. Alright, so now we put this over here instead. Um... Skidney, parkour master. Are you serious right now? There we go. There we go. All right, so. Right, so, where was that can of gasoline? Well, I got the key. So, I don't need to listen to red. I just need to get back on here, right? That's all I need to do. Somehow. Oh my goodness, this is... 
This is the most annoying thing about the game, in my opinion. As I said and, ex and said about it yesterday. Don't get me wrong. I think it's cool. It's a cool way to, you know, maneuver things around. But damn, is it annoying! I was going to throw a reference in there to like a, a 2000 song, but I'm not sure anybody would have got it. You know, being old and everything like I am. Hugo said ramp and I was going to say scooter. Anybody get it? Let me know. Probably not. Alright. Yeah, I'm not as old as Deathwish. That's positive, right? Um, is it colder than me? Okay. Alright, so. Run back down here. I'm afraid of Mr. Dog to do his patrol. This bit kind of like reminds me of Metal Gear Solid, where if you, um, as long as you learn like the guard patrols, you was pretty pretty much all right. That's that's all it is. The dogs are like guards patrolling. So if that puppy comes over here, you go. I'm, I'm blaming you. You do realize that. It's all your fault. It's all on you, Hugo. All right. Come on. Sod it. I'm running. I'm running. You're a mean, mean man, Hugo B. Designer. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Alright, so now where do I put the go go juice? As this other guy called it. I guess I put it in the thing. Yeah, fuel. It says fuel. That might be a good place to put it, right? Alright, so.
drink, your thirsty beast. You seek to find the truth behind all this mystery and think it will set you free. But truth is relative, and relatives can't be trusted to bring good gifts. What you seek lies in the shafts beyond this collapsing of the sky, and if you look closely, so do I. A century of days has passed since I saw this area last. The diseased ones sought to kill poor Red, but I took them on a wild poultry chase. They ended dead. They came from out the big metal door, but after all my years, I knew the caves more. Hide and seek turn to seek and hide, and I buried them here beneath the solid rock sky. Oh, wow. I think I may have got to the end. I'm a bit concerned that if I run in front of this, right, it's just gonna like chase me down there. Can I not like disconnect it or anything? Okay. It seems so strange now to have been guided like a blind man by a faceless stranger whose sanity was clearly clearly waning, dis disposition unknown. For all I knew, this red didn't even have a disposition to speak of, just a seething mass of conflicting emotions. I knew that my radio-reliant friend must have been cocooned nearby, and perhaps in finding him, I would find myself one step closer to understanding what was going on. In just a couple of hours, I would find what I was looking for, and with it would come answers. I didn't realise at the time, but the answer I found would be for questions I hadn't even asked. Alright. You're gonna collapse. No? Wow, that was a shock. I genuinely thought that was gonna collapse. In true video game style. Uh, okay. We've got to run backwards then. It's that stupid, horrible thing from the Black Plague. thing was huge. That's what she said. Let's shut it down. Why is that not gone? We've got a key and some gold juice. That shouldn't be there. Strange to win our handle. Obviously, no swear from it. Where does it lead? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh really? Come on. How am I meant to deal with these guys? Seriously. 
At least I got a safe spot, right? waiting for me, man. Seriously! It's got to be an easy way to deal with this, so I'm surely. my flares on. Maybe I can use a flare? I've got like 11 of them. Come on! This is like dumb. I can't defend myself. How am I meant to defend myself here? Seriously. This is dumb. Really? Oh. It's a timer. I would assume it's a timer. Maybe it's not a timer. Maybe I just need to run for it. No, it is timer. Alright, ready? Let's go. Same path. I see you. I'm not stopping. Alright, so maybe I probably wasn't meant to, I was just meant to just be in and out. Weird that there wasn't like one in that room that, that, that time around. With my remaining ear to the ground, I hear your trembling tootsies padding towards their final destination. Things come to those that wait, whether they want them or not. And soon I think your wait will be open. The great metal door in reality is calling you, just as the Reaper beckons me forward. I look forward to finally greeting you. I only hope. I need not greet the Reaper Man first. Alright, so it looks like we're getting ever closer to Red and finding out where he is and what he wants us to do. And we will pick this up on Monday, guys, because unfortunately we are out of time. <laughs> um, thank you very much, as always, for watching, guys. Uh, links are on screen. Please go check them. Oh, I would be grateful of that. I turned the wrong audio source off. Sorry about that. So, yeah. Um, Maybe Monday will be the last stream. I think we're getting towards the end. So, yes, that would be nice. I want to try and get this finished off for Wednesday so that on Wednesday we can um, 
stream um, Obscure and take a look at Obscure when it comes out on Wednesday. But um, until then, guys, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your enjoy your weekend. Not the rest of your weekend. It's not the weekend yet. Enjoy your weekend, and um, I will catch up with you on Monday, 1 p.m. GMT for some more Overture. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Don't forget LB stream in 55 minutes, 54 minutes. And happy gaming.